This is a Rikon two inch orbital sander and it's 12 volt cordless. So last week I'm sitting at my desk shopping for tools on Amazon and wham, it hits me right in the face. I see this and know instantly I have to buy it and two seconds later it's on the way. If you're interested in picking one of these little gems up for yourself, link in the description. Now I've seen sanders like this before, but none in this price range. For instance, Merca makes this one that's $250. They also have a cordless version that looks kind of like this that's almost $800. Now obviously I know that the Merca is going to be far superior to this, but this is actually doing the job that I need it to do. And before you tell me Milwaukee has one that just came out, I know because I just ordered it. It'll be here next week, but it still doesn't spin like this. Now I understand this is a about a hundred dollar tool, so I have to set my expectations at that. However, I got the box in, it comes nicely packaged, and you get this nice hard case to keep it in, and everything you need to use the sander is already in the box. You get the sander, you get the battery, you get the charger, and you get some sanding discs, as well as some pads, some detail pads that we'll talk about in just a minute. I did try to see if the M12 battery pit would fit across my fingers, but eh, don't. <laughs> oh well, you gotta give me an A for effort, right? Now I personally picked up this pack of assorted sanding discs that fit this exact model. Uh, it does not made by Rikon, but they do fit this and I got a whole bunch uh, from 60 grit all the way up to like 3000 grit. So this should cover me for quite a while. Out of the box, I put the battery in the charger and then about 30 or 40 minutes, it was fully charged, probably quicker than that. I went inside, when I come back out, it was already ready to go. There's several uses for this little sander that I've already thought about and, we, and I've already used it for. One of those is I make small trays on the CNC and I need to be able to sand inside these pockets like this don't tread on me or this guitar tray. We make several of these to sell on the website, to give as gifts, things like that. One of the things that has always frustrated me about that is getting those tooling marks out of some inside that pocket. I've always done it by hand. It takes forever. So when I saw this sander, I knew exactly what I was going to use it for ordered it that day. So trying to sand inside a pocket or inside of a tight space with a 5-inch sander, it just doesn't work. You can't get down in there flat and it doesn't make a smooth sanding surface. And so that's why I wanted this. Now this thing isn't super powerful. In other words, you're not just going to bear down on it and just make grooves and things like that. You're just, it's, it's a detail sander. It's a fine finished sander. Although I did put some uh, 80 grit on there and it started taking off a lot of material pretty quickly. I was actually quite surprised by it. I also needed to fill a hole in this tray with CA glue and this sander smoothed that CA glue back out after it was dry like it was nothing. And on this don't tread on me tray, you can see I was able to easily sand the bottom of that tray no problem. I was actually quite pleased at how well this took off those tooling marks and how fast it worked. I can't tell you how many times I built something and I needed to get in there to sand because I just forgot or maybe there's some glue in there that I needed to get up. Of course, you could do it by hand, but if it's a large area, you're going to be there a while. Now, like a sander like this won't fit in that gap. However, something like this fits in there easily. You can move it around. You can even do the sides, anything like that. Like perfect to get into these small spaces. It lacks dust collection though. Another thing is it comes with this contour pad so you're able to get on rounds like this dial, anything with a rounded edge or like my trays that have a, a eighth inch round over on them. That way you don't damage that edge. There's also instances like right there, there's a little bit of glue right there. And if I put stain on that, you know what's gonna happen. It's gonna stand out like a sore thumb. I can't get my random orbit and sand in there. I can, obviously I can hand sand it, but why if I have one of these, I could just knock this out super quick. Of course, this is plywood. I did get into that veneer a little bit. I should, probably should have used a 220 or a 320 grit. That was 120, but you can see how fast it took it off. You actually get quite a bit of accessories with it when you buy it. You get two of these little squishy pads or contouring pads. You got this hard pad. This is a hard pad as well. And then you also get uh, this foam polishing pad that sticks onto the hook and loop. And you also get two of these uh, polishing pads. One that's got a lot of uh, fluff on it, like fine uh, for polishing, like a polishing compound, something like that. And then one that's more of a terry cloth style. Uh, both of these would actually be good just to polish your shoes with if you wanted to use it to polish your boots. Wish I'd have had that in troop school actually. Is this perfect? Of course not. It is not the best tool or the best quality tool I have in the shop, but it works extremely well for what I'm using it for. And that's kind of where I think you need to set your expectations on this. You can't expect it to be the five and a half or five or six inch orbital sander, random orbital sander that you have. You have to understand this is a detail or a fine finished sander. It's the last step. 
So it's not a really aggressive sander. It does not have random orbit. It's just going in a circle. Now, what's the difference in this and an oscillating tool that you can put a sanding pad on? Well, the oscillating tool is actually just going side to side. So you wind up with a lot of scratches and things like that and you're finished. This is going round and round. And if you're using a higher grit sandpaper, you shouldn't have any of those swirls or anything like that anyway. Couple of things I don't like about this that I wish that they would improve on maybe in the next version. First and foremost, I don't care for how you have to turn it on. I wish that there was just an on off switch or an on off switch with a variable dial. Uh, the way you'd have to turn it on, you push and hold that button, you see the lights and then you push the plus button to ramp up the speed from uh, low to high. Just the speed with the plus and minus button. When you turn it off, you push and hold the power button and it goes off. As you can see, it's fairly quiet. Doesn't make a lot of noise, but it will make a lot of sawdust. It works extremely well. You see on the lowest speed, it, the lowest speed is almost uh, unusable because it'll, you can just stop it with light pressure. Top speed. It works really good. Like that's paint coming off there. That paint's been on there a while too. You can really bear down on it and make it stop, but there's really no reason you would ever do that. Under normal pressure, this thing works fantastic. Another few uses you could use this for around the house, it's a polisher. So you get that polishing pad, you can use it for like epoxy resin if you're polishing that out, or headlights if you've got old headlights that need polishing, polishing chrome, like anything you need to polish, including your boots and things like that, this will do it. Another thing to note is because it's not a random sander, a random orbit sander, it's just spinning, there's no vibration, like minimal vibration is going on. You can see it's just, other than my hand moving, there's no vibration there. So it's not gonna fatigue your hand. It's seriously just a spinning motion. As far as Rikon tools go, I've had this Rikon bandsaw for quite a while now and I've been nothing short of impressed with it. The detail sander does come with a two year warranty. So it's actually a pretty good warranty for something like that. I can also see this being used to get rust off of tools, tabletops, table saw, things like that with a high grit sandpaper. That'd be key to keep those elbows ungreased. As far as the size goes, you can see here compared to like a router and a drill, things like that, it's very similar size as far as the length goes. Easily fits in a drawer, you keep everything organized. It's just an all around good tool in my opinion. Another thing if you're building or making wood products, you could use this with that terry cloth uh, attachment or pad to put on board butter and that'll make it like super smooth and it buffs it out to a nice satin sheen. Like, whoo, that looks good. That's another use for this thing. I, I've just been thoroughly impressed with this and I really do not regret spending a hundred bucks on it. Typically to apply board butter, I'll just take a, a, like a terry cloth or even paper towels, kind of work that in a circular motion and then I'll wipe it off. This makes it much faster and it gives it a better uh, sheen because it's actually buffing it on there. So buff the wood, buff the wood. I rub this as I'm walking around to turn the camera off and this is like silky smooth after I buff that board butter on there. Ooh, another use. If you want to pick up some Outlaws board butter, I'll give you a discount of 20% off. Just use the code detail at checkout, link in the description. This is literally a game changing tool that I really have no idea how I got along without it before I got it. Why didn't I know about you? Why? For the price, if it's in your budget, I don't think you'll regret buying something like this. You'll use it all the time. I've been using it since I got it a few days ago and I, I've just been thoroughly impressed with it and I can't believe I didn't know about it sooner. If you knew about this tool and you didn't tell me, shame on you. If you find new and interesting tools like this that I don't know about, please drop them in the comments or use the contact form on our website to let me know about them. I'd love to check them out. If you like this video and you like sanders, you'll love the 3M sander I checked out a few months ago. It is a total game changer. Watch that video right there. Click in the box, get you the big old virtual fist bump. Also, five of my favorite tools right there.